thank you so much for subscribing to my channel i really appreciate the love and the support over the years hi my name is Caleb karoga and i strongly believe ukulima sio ushamba now on this channel i talk about anything about farming and today i want to talk to give you the progress of how the butternuts are performing and so far so good if you come closer look at our butternut plants uh, we did a 45 centimeters uh, spacing from one plant to the other this is 45 centimeters with another the width of uh, 60 centimeters so far so good now i had promised you guys that i would actually transplant or rather intercrop with maize but i changed my decision midway because i thought hey i'm a beekeeper and as a beekeeper you want to give your bees you want to attract bees because bees are attracted by the sunflower but also give them a variety of nectar reason being a pollen rather reason being most of my neighbors here they plant maize and beans so they already have a bit of pollen and nectar from that so i wanted to give them a spice so the spice in this instance is sunflowers so if you come close you will see i have already done sunflowers i did a gapping of 20 centimeters i should have done 40 also but i did a gap of uh, 20 centimeters it's okay because i did not want to waste water in the middle on this the middle uh, line so this is 45 centimeters by 6 centimeters and uh, so far so good we have sprayed a foliar feed a fungal and a pesticide so we've done those three uh we've done it three times now and so far so good if you look at the crop it's coming out very very well the greenery is really nice um and i'm sure the sunflowers will of course grow faster than the butternuts so the butternuts will be intertwining themselves together with the sunflowers and to look also beautiful we also hope that the bees are going to uh, pollinate the butternuts um they are butternut squash this is the variety we are doing uh, from a company called hygrotech um we have a few challenges with the germination rate there are some spots that they didn't come out or they didn't even germinate and along that tree line we have a tree line over there we've been forced to replant we've been forced to replant two times and uh, it could be probably issues of allelopathy because of the trees i'm not so sure it's allelopathy but because uh, i've planted before and they did very well but so far so good we cannot complain that much so this block or these blocks are doing well and uh drip irrigation and uh we are waiting three more months butternuts takes you about four months to mature and to be ready rather for harvest so in the next couple of weeks or days i should actually be showing you once they start spreading you see there's tendrils and they are going to form a very nice cover crop the soil you are seeing here right now in say two weeks time or so you won't be able to see this soil because it's going to be covered by the butternut the leaves the stems rather spreading all over and it's going to be an amazing amazing crop so if you're thinking of um, a cover crop that is going to conserve your soil moisture and also a cover crop is going to give you money so you could try squash butternuts or uh, sweet potatoes for me those are my go-to uh, cover crops because I'm also going to sell the sweet potatoes and I'm also going to sell the butternut so consider uh, intercropping if you can with a bit of uh, sunflowers in the middle it doesn't hurt don't do something like I did just a little bit of that and um, let's hope for the best we've got bees so bees are going to pollinate our butternut and I'm sure they're going to be so yummy thank you again for subscribing if you haven't please consider subscribing and remember Okulima so shamba